Megalodon, the big boss of our ancient oceans, the king of all sharks, killer of whales. If you're a fan, you've already witnessed our Megalodon versus the Mosasaur episode. But how would it fare against this mythical sea creature? Who would make the first move? How fast would the Megalodon be? What tricks would the Kraken have up its sleeve? According to legend, the Kraken was so large that its body could be mistaken for an island. It lured ships with the promise of a safe landing, and then snap. Its mouth would close around the unfortunate prey, swallowing the ship whole. But ancient sailors aren't exactly a reliable source of information, so we're going to mix legend with fact and model our Kraken on squids and octopuses. Besides, the Kraken wouldn't have to be as large as an island to be a worthy opponent. We're off the coast of Norway, where the Krakens and the Megalodon's territories overlap. In one corner, we have the Megalodon. This beast comes in at over 18 meters, 60 feet long, three times the size of the largest great white shark and an average speed of 18 kilometers per hour. The Megalodon's main weapon is its rows of enormous teeth. Its favorite pastime is snacking on whales, dolphins, and seals. In the other corner, we have the Kraken. This monster is even larger at 39 meters, 129 feet long, three times the size of the largest giant squid. The underside of its long tentacles are covered in suction cups and capped with rotating hooks. Instead of teeth, the Kraken has a beak on its underside that can pierce the hardest of shells. Its favorite pastime is sinking ships by creating giant whirlpools. Now you must decide, whose team would you be on? It's night, the prime hunting time for both these ocean beasts. The Megalodon would have the initial advantage, sensing the vibrations of a giant beast up ahead. Stealthily, it would stalk the Kraken. It would circle its prey at a distance, sizing up this formidable foe. And then, it would strike. The Megalodon would swim full speed at the Kraken, ramming into it and sinking its teeth into the Kraken's delicate skin. It's quite a chomp. The largest Megalodon tooth is 17.8 centimeters, 6.9 inches long. And it's not just its bite that would be bad. The Kraken, weighing around three tons, would be no match for the 50 tons of shark that just collided with it at high speed. But the Megalodon wouldn't be able to finish off the Kraken with just one bite. So it would release the Kraken and circle again, preparing for its next strike. But the Kraken would save one trick for the epic finale. It would vomit its digested food, muddying the surrounding water and attracting other fish. All the different smells and vibrations would disorient the Megalodon. And what the Kraken lacks in weight, it makes up for in strength. Like an octopus, 90% of its body is pure muscle. It would whip its tentacles around, catching hold of the Megalodon with its wicked hooks. The Megalodon would struggle using its body weight to try and escape the Kraken. But the Kraken is too strong, and its grip would be unshakable as its suction cups cling onto the Megalodon. The Megalodon could bite into one of the Kraken's tentacles, tearing it apart, but that wouldn't be enough. The Kraken would continue to wrap up the Megalodon, bringing the shark to its mouth. With its giant beak, it would bite into the monster shark. One or maybe two bites, and the Megalodon would be defeated. The Kraken would then take its large, tasty meal deep inside the depths below. That was terrifying. If you liked this legendary ocean fight and you haven't seen the Mosasaur fight, you should watch the Megalodon vs. the Mosasaurus.